One. Welcome everybody to Nuzlocke Season 1. This recorded round is Pokemon themed and it will implement different features of all the Pokemon games and put them into Minecraft. This season has 13 players and those players are Exnestorio, Shut Up Brick, Dippy Toothy, Upriser Riker, 8 Bit, Nutty Monster, 40 Pixel, The Poke Dude Man, Heroin, Dragon Plaza, Daniel Sherber 1, and Kakadin Tease. <laughs> okay, now forty. And will... yourself. Go back in your. Go in the Pokeball. Go, go. Okay, so for thirteen people, there are thirteen types. There is fire type, grass type, water type, normal type, fighting type, flying type, rock type, dark type, electric type, steel type, ice type, poison type, and fairy type. Um, there for each type, there are three pros and two cons. Um. Everyone else will explain their Pokemon type when they actually get into the game. There's commands to see what they do. And Blitzen's come back here. Everybody unmute your mics and say Global Craft. Global Craft! Global Craft! Global Craft! Guys, guys, let's do it for real this time. <laughs> oh shit, guys, I wasn't recording. <laughs> wait, I wait. Think that oh, <laughs> 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 Alright, hello guys. What is up? It is Deriza, otherwise known as Daniel Sherba One here, and welcome to Nuzlocke UHC, which is a Pokemon themed record around consisting of people who enjoy playing Pokemon that are part of the slash r slash ultra hardcore subreddit. Um, there are 13 Pokemon types right now. Uh, I'm not going to be explaining any of them right now because. Um, you're gonna have to go check out everyone's videos to find out their type, but I am gonna talk about my type, so if I do slash, uh, Pokemon type space poison, cause I'm the poison type, these are the effects that I get. I get 12 hearts, 15% chance to poison opponent on melee, uh, immune to poison and all hunger. Oh, uh, sorry, it disappeared on me. Um... I get slowness one and takes 50% more suffocation damage. So overall, I think it's a good class. Um, it's not very fitting for me personally, though, like my fighting style, because I don't really melee. So the poison part of it is not very good. And I'm, I have slowness, meaning people can catch up to me, which is not very good. But it's OK. I, sh I think it's, it's OK. <clears throat> Definitely not the class that I kind of would have wanted to have. But what can you do? It's OK. I'll live with it. and. It's fine. I'm not gonna complain. It's all classes have their own pro pros and cons, and it just happened to be that the cons and pros of this uh, class are not very fitting for my play style. But that's perfectly fine. That doesn't mean it's a disbalanced class. It's just not the right one for me. But that's perfectly fine. As I said, I'm repeating myself like 50 million times here. But yes, welcome to the perspective of awesomeness. I'm gonna try and get the best that I can for you guys perform the best I can and we'll see how it goes I mean there's a lot of very good people in this game so it'd be really hard for me to pull through and win I'm not really thinking about that right now honestly though so it's okay uh, looks like Engel and 40 have already taken damage actually I'm not sure maybe yeah by the way the colors on tab represent their their uh, their type so yeah, like, I'm pretty sure that dark blue, which is Hurlin, is water type, and I'm pretty sure that uh, bold is ground type. 
I'm not exactly sure, like I said, what each class does, so... Uh, yeah, I don't expect me to talk about that at all. If you want to know what each class does, go and check out everyone's perspective. They're going to be talking about their own class. So, yeah, looking forward to this. Should be a good season, regardless of how it turns out. Has a unique game mode, so... Yeah, let's do this. So right now I'm just, you know, just chopping trees. As you can see, I'm trying to get some apples right now so I can heal underground if needed. Hopefully I don't have to get to that point. Hopefully I don't actually take any damage on the ground, but you never know. Might as well be safe than sorry. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. Yeah, that's the problem with slowness. If you're like trying to run away from a skeleton, he can still hit you because you're slow. That's kind of a, a con right there, but that's okay. Angel is an 80, 40 is on 70. I'm not sure if 40's class makes him have 70% uh, percent automatically or if he took damage, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know any of the classes, so. Okay, so are there any apples here? I don't see any. Oh, by the way, um, I am going to be turning the brightness up on this throughout the entire season because I noticed that um, my Hilton Cover perspective, I forgot to turn the brightness up for caving and a lot of you guys complain about that and uh, for that reason I'm just going to make the whole perspective brighter. So if the day is slightly brighter than it should be, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully it doesn't make the day look really bad. So, yeah. But yeah. The only con that really affects me with this class is the part of the fact that it has slowness, but other than that, really, I'm happy with this class, and we'll see how it plays out, so let's keep chopping trees, getting our stuff, doing our thing, and yeah, I just need to, you know, all I need now really is cows and uh, chickens, other than that, I have everything I need, uh, I have enough food to last me, I think, for a while here, wait, do I have... Oh, fog is on. I'm gonna turn that off just, just because. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, horses are disabled and Nether is off as well. So. Yes. Oh, there's cows. That's, that's one check mark, on the list of to dos, and not to dos. Let's kill him. All right, good. There we go. I'm pretty sure uh, the ground class has jump boost too, but I'm not sure. Or actually, yeah, every single tool that they craft is efficiency 3, I think, automatically. So they break things faster, obviously. Oh, there's a little bit of server lag. That's fine. Okay. So let's take get cows off of our to-do list so all we need now is chickens really oh and i hear a chicken actually that's good there we go no feathers unfortunately that's fine okay Yeah, I don't know how slowness is going to work with my playstyle whenever I bow, because I usually don't strafe a lot anyways whenever I bow, so the fact that I'm going to be even slower with strafing might make it a little easier for people to hit me, but we'll see how it plays out. So, I'm just looking for chickens right now. There should be some up here. I mean, there was one down there, and they usually spawn in like groups rather than individual chickens. Yep, there we go. There's a couple here. Like I said, they never spawn on their own. If you find a chicken, there's usually a couple more around. Uh, I mean, I'm not—I don't really like, you know, study the way Minecraft works. But that's just as far as I know. You know, chickens usually spawn in groups rather than just alone. So I don't know. Again, like I said, that's just what I think. I'm not exactly sure, so don't quote me on that. But <clears throat> right now we have seven feathers, which is actually okay. Oh, there's a, there's a chicken here. There we go, I have nine feathers now, that's good. The zombie is having the time of his life down there, I'm not gonna bother him. I'm gonna let him suffer. 
because I'm just just a mean person, you know, I'm just a jerk. Uh, what is that down there? I see light. No, no. Okay, got more leather. I don't really have any reeds. There's no point for me to have more than one piece of leather because, yeah, I only have enough reeds for one book anyways. Oh, oh gosh, sorry about the hiccups, but actually a really weird story that happened to me today actually it actually happened to me like <clears throat> an hour ago I was looking for my car that says when I have to go to the orthodontist next to check out on my teeth and how the retainers are doing and I was looking for it and I looked in my bed and there's actually like a bag and it actually had like almost like like at, at first I thought it was actually like crap like literally like poop inside it but later on I found out that like it was actually just a sandwich that sat in my um on the side of my bed for a long time and it just turned into like brown crap almost like I don't know like whenever like poop in the sewage is pro uh, processed or like any any kind of waste in the sewage is, uh, in the sewers is like processed um it kind of turns in, like, into like a really like slimy like brown like thing oh hey there's 40 hello and you know that's pretty much what it looked like except in a bag because you know my sandwich was in there and I don't really just put sandwiches there I usually like put them in a bag oh he does need to eat yeah that's one of the benefits of his class which is I'm not sure what it is but it's orange so if I do slash pay key M and type list he is fighting so his class is fighting let's take on the skeleton yeah, so he's fighting class, so he has, obviously, like he said, he has infinite saturation. Uh, so he doesn't need to eat at all. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Like, And like I brought it down, gave it to my mom, was like, what, since when did I have crap on the side of my bed? And she like looked inside and she was like, what the heck? And then five minutes later, she found out that it was actually just a piece of bread that was like under pressure. Because I had some other stuff on top of the bag, because I didn't really know that there was actually like crap inside it, or not crap, but you know, <clears throat> not crap, but you know, you know what I mean, the bread. And I guess if if it's under pressure for that long a time, then I guess that's what it turns into. So I don't know if knowing that is gonna help me in life, but you know, at least I know something now in life. Hey, Nutty's back. Welcome back. Oh yeah, you can see when people chat, you can see right there to the left, uh, their abilities. Uh, there's some trees here that were chopped down. Are there any apples? Because I don't have any apples quite yet. This is actually my spawn. Yes, there is an apple. Good. As long as there is one apple, I'll be happy. I still haven't found any like chickens or anything by the way 40 is actually very close to me so I don't know how I feel about that I'm trying to get away from him right now by running this way but I don't know which way he's running he might be running this way as well I don't know there's a lot more chickens here though which is actually very good because that's what I need there we go let's kill all these chickens and then let's just start heading down underground Okay, good. There's a lot of chickens here. I like this a lot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna dig down over here. <clears throat> Hopefully, 40 didn't run in this direction because I don't really want to K fight, and I don't want to deal with any PVP early on before I have a chance. I mean, <clears throat> it wouldn't really be good for either perspective because. We, whoever wins will take damage and whoever loses obviously his perspective would have to end early because because of the PvP so hopefully we don't have to deal with that it'll just make life easier for both of us oh apparently there was a glitch mm. gap healing like 3.5 parts or something that's pretty cool hopefully that's fixed though yes it is fixed that's good Okay, yeah, I'm getting a lot of feathers here. That's good. I don't really need this many, but I'll take them, you know. 
I don't want anyone else to have arrows. So it's better for me. Oh, what happened to Nutty? He's on 20. Oh gosh. Yeah, I don't know what's been happening with my internet. I don't. I can't tell if it's the internet or the server lag spiking, but here and there I'm having like some lag, as you guys were able to tell a couple <coughs> seconds ago. Oh my gosh, I already have seven levels for mobs. Holy crap! Ah, oh, there's more chickens. Like honestly, I don't want like I don't want any more chickens to be here because then it just keeps me on the surface even longer. Oh gosh, there's so many chickens here. Okay, I have 36 feathers. Yeah, peace out. I'm out of here. I'm not getting any more. That is more than enough. Oh, I'm actually getting close to zero zero, so I'm just gonna dig down here. Oh yeah, like I said, I'm sorry if it's too dark, but I last season I said I was gonna torch things up for you guys to see, but I, I of course I forgot, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm not very good at doing those kind of things. Whenever I promise something, I usually don't do it like a good example of that is obviously MCSG where I said I was gonna upload daily and that never happened. That is why I'm not gonna make any promises such as like making a schedule. So like I said, I was gonna try to do daily uploads, but that never happened. Um obviously this is not gonna be uploaded. Uh the day of recording, so by the time you see this, maybe I am doing daily uploads or maybe I'm not, who knows? But at the time of recording this, which is November eighth, uh I was trying to do daily uploads, but I just couldn't do it anymore because <clears throat> um, I had a lot of homework one day, and I didn't have anything recorded for that day, so I wasn't able to record. And the next day I had a test, so I had to study for that as well after I was done with the homework. Um, but next week should be good. Again, it, whenever you're watching this, um, it's not the week after that because this is not going to be coming up for like a month probably, so... Whenever I say next week, I'm talking like starting from November 8th next week. If that made any sense, but nonetheless, we found a cave here, which is good. Let's put a torch down so you guys could see. Again, like I said, I was gonna I'm gonna increase the brightness either way in this recording, so you should be able to see at all times. Hopefully, I'm not gonna increase it too much because then it'll make the game look really weird. But I will definitely increase it. Okay. There's some stuff here. There's definitely some stuff. Okay, I'll take that. Take this iron. I think I'm gonna make armor as I go here because I don't really wanna, you know, <coughs> go naked and just only start smelting whenever I have all the iron I need for armor because that's usually what I do, but <coughs> it's not the best thing to do for record rounds. <coughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I had a, a little bit of a sore throat yesterday, so hopefully that doesn't affect me too much this recording. I'm feeling good right now, so it's looking good. My nose is a little stuffed up, but it's okay. That goes down a diamond level. That's good. Looks fairly safe here. Now the question is, do I want to go early hunting if I, fi if I find like early diamonds? Uh, like if I find enough diamonds for enchants really early on in the game, like I think it's not worth it because honestly even if I go early hunting, it'll be a waste of time because this is a recorder and so people aren't going to be early hunting. So if I do end up going early hunting, I'm probably not going to find anyone at zero zero, and I'm not very good at finding people underground because I'm not very good at spotting names. So overall, I think it's not a very good idea for me to go hunting early if I get diamonds. <laughs> I'll probably start heading out if I have a chance, like around episode... I'd say like around episode 3. Like maybe the end of episode 3, so episode 4. Um, I think that'd be reasonably good. Okay, let's get some iron. I know I said I was going to make armor on the go, but... Mm -hmm. I guess I didn't because the cave looked fairly safe and there was iron everywhere, so I figured why not. Okay, let's let's make four furnaces. Boom. And iron. Oh crap. There we go. Yeah, I have to remember that I have slowness, so I can't really do sp uh wait. Oh okay. I was gonna say the slowness is going down. But of course it's not. Okay, let's make Let's make this here while we can. 
and let's throw out the leftovers because I don't want to have inventory. Wait, I don't want my inventory to be clogged up. Oh, there's a cave down there. Can't do that. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Oh gosh, I need to go to the bathroom. I don't know why, but I don't know if this is weird or not. But every time before I record around, I have to go to the bathroom. Actually, I'm lying. Not every single time, but a lot of the times. Like I, I don't really get nervous, so that shouldn't really affect it. But I don't know. Before we like start recording for a recorder, and I always like need to go to the bathroom. But then I just end up like you know, just sucking it up through the whole recorder and then just holding it in, which is not very good to do. Because then I might have a stomachache the next day. But you know, that's fine. Let's let's get exactly a stack. There we go. Close enough. Okay, we need to make what? Okay, so boom. Alright, let's get all this. <laughs> Dang, I already have eight levels? Holy crap. That went fairly quick. Alright, let's go get a bucket real quick before it's too late, and let's also get this gold. Looks like what a vein of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty-nine. I don't know how to count. Dot com. Let's get this water. Oh, there's some gold over here. Good thing I went back here. I was gonna get the water and just turn around, but good thing I kept on going because there's gold here. Okay. Oh, vein of eight question mark. Yes. Alright, good. So we have enough for one healing. Oh, it's a vein of nine even. Ten possibly. Nope, nine. Twelve gold. Okay, that's that's good. Not complaining. Oh, what happened? I'm fine. My caves aren't used. It's okay. I don't know, I'm fine. Oh, see you guys next episode.